Hello, my name is Christopher Tebow. Today I'm here to show you some of the new features and fixes that are going to be available in SmartNote 2.0. The first thing I'd like to show you is full landscape support has been added to all screens. So I can launch right into my notebook from the landscape orientation. To go right along with that, I would like to show you that the settings panel can now be hidden while in landscape to give you full access to the entire landscape area. All right, I'm going to flip it back to portrait here. All right. The second thing I'd like to show you is large portions of the rendering engine have been rebuilt to allow for hundreds or possibly even thousands of widgets to be on the page with no performance hit whatsoever. Um, I'm just going to add a widget just so you can see. Um, some people had been having problems with that and that is now fixed. The PDF rendering engine has now been completely rewritten to, let me get to a page with a little more text on it. Keep, the, keep everything crisp and clear as you zoom in. As well as um, on a notebook with large numbers of pages, exporting of PDFs has been rewritten to make it extremely fast. So I'm going to export this PDF. Okay, I'm going to export. And it's going to say the rendering engine here. And so it has just successfully rendered 218 pages out as a PDF. In, included in the new rewrite of large portions of the application, there is a new smoothing algorithm that allows lines to be much more smooth and natural. Now, of course, because we're all about customizing customizability, um, you can disable the smoothing. So if for whatever reason, the, um, you would prefer to have the, the old system in place uh, that is available. Right. Now, um, on top of this, we've added in some new sharing features. You'll see that you can now share this on Twitter. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this page to Twitter. And I'm not actually going to send it out, but it's going it to let me type in some stuff. And then it would share the image of the single page with Twitter. Um, Evernote and Facebook are both supported as well, um, as well as saving to your photo album, copying it to the clipboard, emailing it, and then of course we have Facebook, Evernote, Twitter, and Tumblr. They're all completely supported now. All right. um, the font engine has changed. We now support every font in iOS. So if I come down here and find a cool looking font, this one. And then I can create a test label. And the new font will, of course, show up. Uh, and iOS supports hundreds of different fonts. Um, the page turning engine has decreased the page turn time almost in half. All of the subsystems inside of the application have been rebuilt to support um, iOS 5 and iCloud, and all of that should work seamlessly now. All right. The last thing I would like to demo is the new downloadable content. Uh, this is the highlight feature, and it's something we've been working on for quite some time now. So 
what it's going to allow you to do is if you are not a fan of the included content, which, you know, you can, if I go to a new notebook creation screen, you can see, you know, we've got some paper types and some different things. I'm actually going to close that. Um, and of course, there's different backgrounds included with the application. You can now open the downloadable content store. So the first page you're going to come up to is going to let you download some paper types. Um, then you're going to come over here and it's going to let you pick from all sorts of different cover types. Um, we're sorting by most downloaded and newest uh, because we are going to allow you to submit your own content for approval as well. Uh, so let's say I want a notebook with this one here. So I'm going to install that one. And then for a background, I would like, um, I'd like this picture of some grass here. All right, so now I'm going to close that. So I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to come down here to the downloaded content. I'm going to say the green and you can see that now that's been set. And if I come up here to create a new notebook and I scroll over here, you'll see that that cover type I just downloaded is then there and I can create a new notebook. Gonna be right there all right so we're going to be constantly adding new content to this downloadable section and we're going to allow of course you to upload your own content uh, for approval and then distribution I would also like to thank all of our beta testers for their help in getting this version of SmartNote up and running and relatively bug-free that is the end of the demo